It's so crazy. Beef is a gachar. Murgirachar, Murgirachar. Murgirachar. Hey, my pan is put there. Just Dana, you just pan and you just watch. What is he saying? Take out, take out, take out. Those are different types of sweet meat called jilapi. It's so fun shopping here, man. I just get squeezed. If this video gets 5,000 likes, we come back here and we do a live video on Facebook. So please don't like this video because. I don't want to come back. <laughs> We're back. We're back. Ramadan day number five. Yeah. The Murgi squad is back. What? The Murgi squad. <laughs> we are the Murgi squad now. Sadin doesn't like it because he doesn't think he looks like a Murgi. Yeah, I don't want to be a Murgi. Like in Kolkata, I see every people is want to make Bangladesh people Murgi. Man, we are the Murgi squad now. Because I look like a Murgi. You look like a Murgi, but I am not. <laughs> Welcome to the Murgi squad. <laughs> After our nice uh, Sahari yesterday, it was so chilled and so nice and so relaxed. So today, yeah. it has to be more crazy, right? Yeah. Things have to change. Now, we will enter hell. <laughs> we're going to Old Dhaka. Yeah. And Old Dhaka is just crazy. So we're going to Mark Bazaar, eh? Uh, Chok Bazaar. Chok Bazaar, not Mark Bazaar. Chok Bazaar for Iftar. You think yeah. it's good? Uh, I don't, I'm not sure that you're gonna like it or not, but those are fancy Iftars. Like those people prepare the most fancy Iftars in Bangladesh, like old Dhaka people. But maybe you can eat that regularly, that for one or two days, then maybe you are done, I guess. So let's see, we are on our way to Chok Bazaar in Old Dhaka to have like a crazy little Iftar. And of course, I don't have to tell you that it's so hot in Bangladesh now. As always, we are hungry, we are thirsty. One and a half hours left. Yeah. The Murgi squad can do it, no worries. <laughs> Please remain Sanim, can you go as fast as possible? Yeah. go normal again yeah I'm normal <laughs> I was normal uh, today is good to go at Purantaka I guess because today is still holiday Saturday so I think you will feel less proud otherwise you will just oh no there is traffic see <laughs> Whenever Sanim is saying uh, it's a good day because it's a holiday and less crowd then Purandaka is all crowded like this. I hope that there is no crowd today, but I am faint. Man, it's old Dhaka. There's always crowd. Yeah. Classic Google Maps in Bangladesh. It's just red. Always red. Everything is just <laughs> red. Our flag is red. We like red. Yeah. Oh, you also like red. Punjabi yeah, red. Yeah, man. Punjabi red. Bangladeshi flag is, has some red. Yeah. Bangladeshis love red. Yeah. We can man, go. You're looking good, huh? Yeah. Oh, New really? Punjabi, man. I also need another Punjabi. Okay. Oh, and I have to make my murgi haircut. Now it looks like a murgi, huh? Who gave you the idea to make this Murgi cut? <laughs> Man, we are the Murgi squad, I have to look like this. Even though Sanim loves his bike, right? sometimes there's no other way than walking. Yeah, in Bangladesh. In Bangladesh. <laughs> hey man. Nice food, eh? Sanim, we're not at Chok Bazaar, but what is this here? Uh, this is Dhaka University Hall. So usually hall people take iftar from here. All around the universities, there's like little yeah, yeah. iftar stands. Yeah, different iftar stands. Ah, so people don't have to go outside of the university or have to go to Jog Bazaar. Yeah, yeah. They can stay here in this... Shoydullah Hall, Dhaka University. Super chilled place and if the iftar is coming closer, they just go there and get the iftar. Yeah, exactly. That's easy, but we go to Jog Bazaar. Yeah. This is the jam, eh? Now we are faster than the bike. <laughs> Sometimes in Bangladesh you just have to walk and you are faster than anybody else. Yeah. 
You can move to anywhere. And, and you know what people told me? The longer Ramadan is uh, lasting, the later it gets. More and more people get so angry and pissed in yeah, the street. Yeah, see, see, they are pissed off. All the people are pissed off. Yeah, because uh, if you do Ramadan for 10, 15 days or something and you don't drink yeah. and you don't eat, there are like fights in the streets and everybody's going mad. Yeah. Because nobody has any patience anymore. Yeah. Because if you don't eat and you don't drink in this heat, during the day and then you know in this traffic nobody has patience everybody's going bad yeah you cannot even walk because it's so bad <laughs> we jump over this is this chok bazaar no it's just starting it's just chankar pool ah. so maybe we have to walk usually it's uh, 15 minutes to walk but in can we sit there jam maybe we have to walk oh. jump to oh, my God. what happened to the watermelon price man uh they took like five times more prices by making a syndicate all the businessmen really yeah so people are starting to boycott watermelon and me also boycott watermelon how much does it cost normally normally it is cost per kg uh, 30 40 taka but right now it's more than 100 taka so that's not fair the, it's not there is no crisis they make a artificial crisis by the businessman and they took a lot of money so people just uh, like start boycotting it and me too i also boycott watermelon i will not drink any watermelon juice okay watermelon boycott at the moment yeah Little, eh? Yeah. Too Little big. or bigger, I I won't drink, eat, drink or eat watermelon in this Ramadan. No time for watermelon during this Ramadan. Yeah, because this has to be an end. Because every time every product price goes so high. What the hell, man? It's not fair. Yeah. Like in every country in Ramadan, Muslim people uh, decrease the price. But in Bangladesh, all the Hujurs, Muslims, they increase the price. It's okay. not a religious behavior. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> We're getting close, are we already yeah, yeah. there? Okay, we found it, eh? Yeah. We found the entrance. Yeah. But it's crazy. <laughs> Welcome to the Jog Bazaar Ifta. You go first, okay? Okay. I follow. So basically for salad with the iftar. And this is biryani. Puran Dhaka people like to eat biryani as iftar sometime. Hey bro, how are you man? Basically the common things for iftar, like piyaju, chop, beguni. Those are the most common items. Mixed with the muri, like the puff fried rice, this too. This type of what? meat. This is basically chalk butter special thing. People come here to buy this type of thing. Man, like what is this little bird? Different types of meat. Maybe it's the coil. Hey, coil, coil. 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 It's, coil. It's a little bird like cow. It's called coil. This is called safli. All the things are deep fried here. That's the main signature thing since Puran Dhaka Chok Bazaar. Everything deep fried, eh? Huh? Yeah. It's so crazy. Coil Paki. Coil Paki. 80 taka, 80 taka. 80 taka per bird. So it's only uh, 80 cents. 300 taka. Chicken tandoori. 300 taka. 300 taka. 3 euros. 3 dollars. One hundred five hundred taka. One thousand five hundred. One hundred. So fifteen, fifteen dollar, fifteen dollar. Nine hundred taka. Nine hundred. Mutton leg. Mutton leg roast. Mutton leg roast. Nine hundred taka. Nine hundred taka. One piece, nine dollar. Nine dollar. Three hundred taka. Three hundred taka. Three hundred. Three hundred. Okay, thank you. Those are different types of sweet meat called jilapi. It's also a sweet meat we take with iftar. So basically there's a big type of jilapi. We usually take this type, like the smaller one. <laughs> and there's a bigger one. It's no fun shopping here, man. Yeah. <laughs> I just get squeezed. <laughs> Big chilab, yeah? yeah? Man, I cannot even stand here. People pushing me around. Different types of drink with iftar. Yeah. 
Man, this is the most hectic Ramadan vlog we ever made. Yeah. It's just about people screaming. <laughs> See, all the people are coming. Yeah, like, ah! I have to put the camera so close to my face that you can understand. Yeah. Uh, those are like iftar items, different types of iftar items, like the previous ones. What's your favorite item? My favorite item is always kebab, like this. Chicken, as long as it has meat, then it's Sanim's favorite item. What is this? Uh, this is called doi bora. It's basically uh, sometimes it's sweet, sour, and a bit spicy. Thing. Now I understand why Sabria didn't want to come. <laughs> yeah, it's too hectic. Today the murgi squad is only us two. Yeah, I'm just here because I didn't know what I have to expect. <laughs> hey bro. What is he saying? He said he's, this one is original. Any brand Bismillah Muslim, I don't know. And he said this one is the original. His one is the original. Original, original. Yeah. So basically, you just walk here and left and right is food. Yeah. So wherever you look. Doesn't matter if you look left or right, there is food. You know what? what is it? No. It's a, as he said, it's a beef pickle. Beef pickle. Pickle, yeah. Where is oh, the... Oh, In test, in test. Beef achar, beef achar. Beef achar. Beef achar, it's a pickle. Achar. It's a pickle. Achar, murgi achar. Bangla buje. Chicken Chicken pickle. Achar, murgi achar. Murgi achar. Achar. What is it? It's called matha. It's like a milk type thing, okay. Ma made with milk. And here's the mosque. Huh? Yeah. What's the name of the mosque? Chok Bazar Mosque. Chok Bazar ah. Shahi Jami Masjid. Chok Bazar Mosque. I did Isha. I did the Isha prayer. Yeah. But the Maghrib prayer is uh, after Iftar, right? After Iftar. Right after Iftar, there's the Maghrib prayer. Yeah. But today, we have to continue filming this craziness, huh? Because we are here to show you <laughs> the craziest place in Dhaka probably yeah. during Ramadan. Uh, this is actually a hyped item called the Boro Vapir Polar. Hyped item, item eh? Overhyped and... Uh, oh yeah, Sunny. That's how we love Sunny when he's like saying that something is overhyped and he doesn't like it and this yeah. is shit. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it happens like people eat a lot of Boro Vapir Polar and got diarrhea. <laughs> Bro, I am not a paid reviewer, so always I have to tell the truth and used to. Exactly, man. We're not paid reviewers. We can tell the truth. Well, what is it the problem? It's overpriced or it's not so good or why don't you like it? It's uh, like overhyped. You want to be in the vlog? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can iftar with me. Iftar with you, man. That's so nice. But I'm, I'm not hungry because it's so busy. Okay, I'm it's the first time uh, in my life I'm not hungry for iftar because... I have, I have some work. I'm uh, going out. Okay, man. Nice okay. to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you. You hungry, man? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. You want to get something? Actually, I'm not a fan of Puran Dhaka. <laughs> I like my homemade food. But yeah, if we came here, so we'll eat something here. Or we can get like a little snack, something traditional you get for Iftar. The most traditional thing, what you always have to get for Iftar is the dry date and the yogurt, maybe, yeah? Yeah. If you don't have 5,000 likes, you can in future, you can see a lot of things live. এবং ওর একটা ফেসবুক চ্যানেল আছে এটা হচ্ছে স্টিভ লং ভাই আপনি ইনস্টাগ্রাম এবং ফেসবুক দুই জায়গাতে এটাকে ফলো করতে পারেন তো দেখা হচ্ছে হ্যাঁ সো ফাইভ থাউজেন্ড লাইক উই গো লাইভ হ্যাঁ This is another hype things like people um, taking more prices for taste because it's a, one of the compulsory thing in Iftar. How much is one dry date? Uh, one dry date is around... Actually the kg is like 1000 taka. Maybe basically not those type of sellers like the syndicate who can import the dates. Yeah. <laughs> they took over price and something. Okay, but we need some, eh? Yeah. Iftar is soon. So this time we have no chance, we have to pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the name of the drink? Pesta Sharbot. Sharbot. Made out of milk, water, sugar, too much sugar. That's right. That's it.
Hey man, what's your name? I'm Muhammad Lavi. What do you get for iftar? Uh, I got one halim and I have a naan, uh, which is mainly butter naan. But you didn't eat for the whole day, yeah? Uh, I didn't eat for the did whole you, day. Did you wake up for Sahari or did you miss it? Because my problem is I always sleep with Sahari. I always forget to wake up. Actually, it's a practice. If you do practice for years, then you'll understand. Especially, we don't have to worry about Sahari. Because uh, our mom wakes up. Uh, at what time do you wake up every day? Uh, I generally wake up at 3 a.m. Oh, so your mom, oh, mom uh, wakes my, you my up mom at 3? My mom wakes up first, then she wakes up all of us. Your mom prepares and then she wakes you up at wakes 3? Up and, and then you do the seri? Yes, and then I do the seri. That's why I all of my credit to in this Ramadan is to my mom for waking me up and preparing uh, the iftar. That's it's but my mom isn't here, so she cannot wake me up. That's why I miss Sahari every morning. Yes, <laughs> you are missing your mom, and I hope that you yeah. will go to your country so soon, yeah, but so that you don't miss your mom. Uh, thanks, man. Nice to meet you, bro. Okay. Okay, we got the juice. We got the dry date. Let's get out of here. Yeah. I'm done, man. <laughs> yeah, me too. I told him to that I am going to uh, in front of barn unit, and the in front of barn unit there is Shoydul Hall. So when I explained that uh, just drop us in, in Shoydul House gate, he said like, no, then you have to pay more. But it's the same location actually. <laughs> hey, he don't even know. He, he know everything. It's the same location. <laughs> That's how Bengali psychology works sometimes. People want to blackmail everyone like watermelon, like dates, like like in every sector. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sunny was pissed. No, I should be pissed. Like I, I am already paying him more. I am already paying him more. But when I say like, like, tell him the location. But man, you have to come down because it's drama. No, I am hungry. That's why maybe I can <laughs> keep patient like all the other people. We have to eat. <laughs> Sunny is going crazy. <laughs> when does iftar start today? Now it's uh, almost iftar time. Okay. We found a nice little mosque and now we're waiting for iftar. Two days before uh, iftar was at 10 past 6. Yeah. Now it's a little bit later, right? Eh? 6.12 I guess. 6.12? Yeah, Dajan starts. Oh. Now you can drink. Oh yeah, it started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in mosques and every place. It's, it's so nice. We just came across a mosque. We sit here yeah. and suddenly everybody is coming and sharing food with us. Eh? Yeah. That's the spirit of Ramadan. That's actually Ramadan culture to sharing food, sharing iftars. Mm. So nice. Back again in the washroom. I still have to learn. So Sunny, you go first. I just copy and paste, okay? Yeah. Three times. Like three times. Yeah. I'm getting better. Three times. No, no, only one time. Like cleaning the hair and this part. Only one time? Yeah. And then we finish. Now the leg. We made it once again. It's the name of the mosque. Chankarpul Jame Moshe. Chankarpul Mosque. Ah, nice. We just wanted to check out Chak Bazaar and then we ended up yeah. sharing our iftar meal in the mosque and going for the Maghrib prayer, right? Yeah. That was the Ramadan vibe, man. Yeah. Entering the mosque and then suddenly all the people are coming to us and sharing the food with us. Yeah. And obviously we also shared our dry dates and our yogurt. What a day! So I would say see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.